Fishing in the overworld is something everyone who's played Terraria is kind of familiar with, from the most casual player to the hardcore ones. We all gotta fish, whether it's for better gear, potion ingredients, or just the satisfaction of getting those achievements. But lava fishing gets kind of brushed aside by players, and I'm guilty of that too. It stops being this simple and easy thing you can do in any water puddle and becomes this stressful activity that can only be done in specific spots and takes forever to catch anything. But in this video, I want to show you that all the effort to fish in lava is totally worth it in the end, and it's not as bad as it seems. If you're thinking about getting into lava fishing before entering hard mode, know it's doable, but it won't be easy. You'll need at least one of these three items to fish in lava. Lava proof fishing hook, lava bait, or the hotline fishing hook. Out of the three, lava bait is the only method accessible to players early in the game, so let's focus on that. While exploring the underworld, you might come across three critters that can be used as bait for lava fishing. The magma snail is the rarest of the three, and has a fishing power of 35%. The lava fly has 25% fishing power, and only appears at night in the underworld. And the most common, the hell butterfly, has 15% fishing power, and only appears during the day in the underworld. However, when capturing them, you need to be careful. Using a regular bug net, not only can you not catch them, but these critters will also inflict the on-fire debuff on the player for up to 13 seconds. To catch them, you'll need a lava-proof bug net, which is crafted by combining 15 hellstone bars and a bug net near a hell forge. Alternatively, you can also use a golden bug net if you have one. The spawn of critters and enemies works similarly, so water candles and battle potions can help you when hunting for lava bait. Additionally, most critters will spawn in the place of enemies when near NPCs. So, to increase your chances of finding these bugs, it's recommended to have a small village in the underworld. Now that you've got the basics for lava fishing, let's check out the items you can get. Among the fish you can catch are the Flarefin Koi and the Obsidifish. Both are used in crafting Inferno potions, but the Obsidifish is also used to craft potions of return. You can also fish up the Obsidian Swordfish, an exclusive hard mode spear. It can be incredibly handy since it's the second spear with the highest base damage in the game and has the highest critical hit chance among all melee weapons. You can also fish up the Bottomless Lava Bucket, allowing you to place infinite amounts of lava and the Lava Absorbent Sponge, capable of absorbing infinite amounts of lava. Lastly, there's the Demon Conch, which works like a magic mirror and lets the player teleport to the center of the underworld. In lava, you can fish up two crates, the Obsidian Crate and its hard mode version, the Hellstone Crate. Every crate you open guarantees an Obsidian Lockbox, which is a grab bag item, serving as a portable alternative to the Shadow Chest. Unlocking it allows you to find one of the six rare items typically found in Shadow Chests. Other items you might find include the Flame Waker Boots, a vanity item that leaves trails of fire as you move across blocks. The Superheated Blood is an item that can summon a Lava Shark, which is one of the best and fastest mounts in the game, allowing the player to swim swiftly in liquids and granting immunity to lava while mounted on it. The Lava Proof Fishing Hook, an accessory that, when equipped, allows the player to fish in lava, no matter what rod or bait they are using. The Lava Charm, an accessory that grants 7 seconds of immunity to lava and is used in many crafting recipes, can also be obtained from crates, although with a small chance of just 5%. Last but not least, there are the decoration items. In total, there are eight unique items that can be obtained, and each of them has a varying drop chance. And, like in every crate, you can also get potions, ores, bait, and various other items. Lava fishing can be a time-consuming process, so to speed up your catches, it's advisable to use at least two out of the three items required for lava fishing. By doing that, your catch rate will be almost doubled. And with a full set of fishing accessories, lava fishing becomes a walk in the park.